schemes, let, let's start with what schemes are you going to, or what strategies? Big strategy, what if you? What strategies that you see do you think, I want to take Misaki for this? Bounty. Collect the bounty. Collect the bounty. Masters can kill and it doesn't It doesn't matter who kills. Yes. Uh, collect the bounty is a, is a, is a phenomenal, because um, let's reiterate on what collect the bounty is. You get a certain yeah. point total for... Um, so when you when you kill enemy models, yes. depending on their station, you get points. Three for ma or four for master, three for henchmen, mm -hmm. two for enforcer, one for uh, minions, zero for peons. Yep. So, right, and Misaki, her ability to kill and potentially not be killed. Yeah. Gives her yeah an edge there. Yep. Um, I'm trying to think of some other ones. Uh, some schemes that she would excel at. Is uh, a neutral neutral as the leader. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, well, okay. So strategies definitely collect the bounty. Collect the bounty. Yes. Now, what about headhunter? That's a very killing. <laughs> See, headhunter is a lot really difficult for her. Actually, there, there might be some moments where it might pay off when if you bring the Jargumo in. Because then you might be able to, you might clear a whole area and then the Jargumo can start picking up heads. Um, or even those. Lower monks you're yeah. talking about if they now that is one I would say where Masaki would play much closer to the best. Yeah, you, you don't want to necessarily because you don't want to give them heads <laughs> in the middle of the crew. Right, you don't want to kill one of their stuff mm -hmm. just to give them a head. But if they if they did take like one performer, mm -hmm. that's one of those moments where Masaki would be like, oh, that's your head collector. Let me kill it. That that, that actually might be. I'm, I'm just gonna, I would consider maybe possibly Orin. For once. Okay. Uh, which or are... We didn't mention them at all. Um, they're five soul stone minion with... Uh, they have a lore. But they don't have... Uh, versus, right. like, the bells, which they have the, the so, triggers so in. The key is that, well, they are casting eight lore, which yeah. is very good. They do not have a crow. So they need to cheat a crow. Mm -hmm. And crows are what... High crows are what Masaki wants for assassinating. Yes. Uh, so there, that, there is that competing... But that might be an option for you if you want to try to bring models yeah. into range from... Oh my god, that'd be cool, though. Like, uh, I need to bring these models into Misaki's range right away, so... Yeah. Okay, so... Headhunter, mixed bag. Yeah. Kind of a mixed bag. Yeah. I, I think the big thing is somebody like Yonlo mm -hmm. comes to mind as being a little better since he moves enemy models. Yes, and I want you... I, I'm going to put you where I want that head to be. Or even McCabe, since like, he can do the activation control thing. Yeah, with the so, pounds. So yeah, Misaki, not necessarily first choice, but she can... Uh, let's see. Ta table quarters, either of the two table quarters. I think we know what her strategy would be. Just annihilate one table quarter. <laughs> clear, clear table quarters. <laughs> yeah, just, just like, alright. And, and actually, the newest one where engagements don't count, yeah. she can engage... Yeah. If she charges yeah. into a group to engage a lot... Here. Oh, gotta check the camera. Okay, uh, we're back. Yeah. So, um, so we just, we just finished talking about the table quarters and how Masaki handles that. Yeah. Uh, that I believe that one is. Interference. So, yeah, interference and. Interference. Uh. Re yeah, just annihilating table quarters. Uh, yeah, guard no. the stash. <clears throat> Okay, guard the stash. That is... It. I mean, it's similar. She's going to try and push the opponent off one. Yeah, but also they're... it's making your opponent come to a... Yes. <laughs> it, um, for both guard the stash and uh, turf war slash informant. Mm -hmm. Right, your there are points your opponent has to come to to score. Mm -hmm. And Masaki, Masaki can easily be within range of those. Yeah, and, just... like, and that's the great thing with those, is she can just kind of lurk. Yeah. <laughs> there, and it's like, you gotta come. <laughs> yeah, I picture Misaki in the bush, like, stalking, like, <laughs> oh god. Now I'm just picturing her, like, uh, a jungler and Lowell just sitting there in the bush waiting to come. <laughs> She's like, Wah! Oh! Um, <laughs> or, uh, no, Misaki, no! <laughs> oh god, that's terrible. Yeah. Um, so, right, and so, though, I can see those are very interesting. Yeah. To play for Misaki. Because a lot of those don't have particular leaders that are especially strong. Mm -hmm. And so Misaki's ability to split off from her crew, I think, does make 
Guard the and stash, uh, good. Also, I mean, a lot of times what people are going to do is with the, when, when they see guard the stash, I'm going to bring my biggest, beefiest, you know, so many light, uh, uh, so many wounds and all these really cool defenses to, and just sit on the point and just sit there. I mean, Misaki can, like I said, five attack actions if everything goes right. Like, that can chop through even... You can chop through most things with that. Like, what, what's what's one of the biggest, burliest, super defensive models um, that you would bring in that? Uh, I'm trying to think. The new Archie comes to mind, but well, Archie, yeah. Um, I mean, even a writer. like well, no, you wouldn't bring a writer in this. Uh, writers do have yeah. Um, even just think in Ten Thunders, you've got a zombie with the armor. Yeah. You know, he's he's not even that expensive for something with armor, too. Yeah. But his... And actually, it's one of the things that Misaki does struggle with. His armor. And Izamu could be a problem if she... Doesn't get the severe. If she's in a point where she either doesn't get the severes or doesn't get all of those attacks. Mm. But yeah, in the case of Guard the Stash, you throw Izamu second turn at a stash marker. Yeah. M Misaki gets fast and... Goes hanged. Um, hanged aren't durable so much as just yeah. hard hitting, but um, they are something you might what's summon. The, the big beast that uh, three heads that they use for um, resurrectionists. Oh, their version of the saber tooth. Yeah. Uh, um, rogue necromancy. Rogue necromancy. Yeah. You throw. Huh? You buy rogue necromancy. That's a pretty. Well. It's actually even it is more considered. All it has is hard. To, hard is impossible. terrifying and oh, okay. yeah. I think impossible to wound. Okay. So. But yeah, just go but, like yeah. But you're gonna bring a model that's really good at holding points. Yeah, and and well, and she. I think she's she's a good model to remove those models that are built for holding points. Well, even if they even if they t go the other route and take a relatively large number yeah. of smaller ones. Her ability to ditch in your build, she sees three models clustered together, she pops recall training, charges in, uses her, not down burst, thunder. Thunder, yeah. And she thunders through them instead, yeah. and even if she, she probably kills the one she's targeting. Yeah. She And hell, recall training, she could even switch targets, like, yeah. attack the first one, then go for the other, kill it, and the blast kill the first one, because yeah. it was so weakened. Or Ramos summoned summoned the swarm, and he summoned three uh, 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 three uh, spiders. Yeah. All right, then go in, and then I thunder all three and wipe all three of them off the board. Yeah, she yes, yeah, she would have. Um, so guard the stash, pretty solid. Um, what's the? Uh, oh, I can't extraction. Remember. So extraction, that's similarly. You're just <laughs> going to. Your stuff stays on your side. Misaki goes across the line to. That's where I. There's on their side of the bubble. At that point, you want to be a little bit more aggressive initially with the rest of your crew. With Misaki, you advance up. Make sure you move that informant marker back, because one of the one of Misaki's weaknesses is if she cannot take a sustained assault, even with misdirection, if somebody wants her dead, and they have the resources. <laughs> She will probably, most likely, die. Uh, yes, a, a smart player, depending on what you have to throw at her and mm -hmm. what you, yeah, yeah. And there's a good chance that. And that's where you want you you want to move the informant marker as far back as possible, so then they have to start overcommitting towards you, and then you can counter. Okay. Um, now, now, would you normally take Masaki in that? Not really. Most okay. I'm just saying purely if you were taking. Yeah, but Misaki. that's the other though. That's how Misaki would handle it. But yes. so if if you saw that Misaki isn't probably your she first. She would probably one. not be the idea. Like not unless you had some schemes that were absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Well, it does also have the benefit of like it, it very similar to guard the stash where there is a point that your opponent has to get to, and then right. you can remove malls from those points. Well, because you can start moving the informant marker as early as turn two. Yeah. Which means that they've probably got into position, and they're going to have to move models into that range. Mm -hmm. 
So again, you can, like you said, get aggressive, with, yeah. get yours into that range, save her and Sensei Yu to the last, yeah. and send her in to kill some stuff. Yeah. Uh, All pumped up. But we talked about Headhunter, which is not the ideal. Uh, we talked about the Bounty. So now, I think this is a good time to transition into... Well, just for if... For the original ones, uh, there is Squatter's Rights, yes. we hadn't talked about. That's similar, there are points to hold, mm -hmm. and Masaki can clear them off for your crew. Then there's, um, we have Uh, so we've got Reconnoiter, which is the same thing. Yeah, the Table Death Quarters. Order. There's Reckoning, and then the first crew. First crew. Oh yeah, Reckoning, that's another one she'd be good for, just because... She can insure oh, some kills. But still, that's, a, that's another one. And then the, that's one of those weird moments where, depending on the too strategies... <laughs> no, because if you... Well, as long as you kill everything, you can still <laughs> score every turn. But yeah. Um, then there, that's Turf War. Yep, which Turf is War. A, a Basically thing. like Informant. In the center. And I think I might not have all of them on here. I think I might have moved oh. around. That's the other, the other big one was Squatter's Rights, squatter's with right. the five squat markers. Yeah, which is, that's, that's one I haven't seen in a while. Yeah, it's we've actually, been playing a lot of gaining grounds. Yeah, so. it's, it's actually one I really do miss. It's a, it, was, it was a very fun one. Yeah, the closest is the um, Guard the Stash, mm -hmm. is sort of the new version. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Guard the Stash, but it's still, I still miss the five points. It was, it was really, yeah. it was a lot of fun. Certain Masters had like a distinct advantage towards it versus others, which were... Masaki so, was one of the ones that did, wouldn't do the best in that one. Yeah, um, again, her crew would have to really be able to do that without her. So, shall we transition into the strategies? Yep, so strategies. This is one of those, again, um, she has some ones that really shine. Yeah, hunting party? Mm, yeah. Not but, so much, because you need it. It's yeah, hunting, a henchman or an enforcer. So um, she doesn't count. Because before, and a lot of her henchmen and enforcers... Well, the equivalent to the regular one was make them suffer, which was like, yes. oh, I just need to kill them. Well, Misaki killing a minion? I, I think Misaki and some of the masters like her are the reason that... Yeah, oh god. Like, the whole reason Leviticus? I think it was more Leviticus than anything else. Uh, Misaki, the... Um, Seamus. The sisters, Seamus. There's just certain masters. Yeah. The Victorias... Yeah. There's certain masters like Masaki, and Masaki was a big one. Because mm -hmm. the thing is, uh, Make Them Suffer is just... Uh, yeah, it was... Her being able to kill a, a minion or a peon... Mm -hmm. Oh my god, yeah, forget about yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be dead. <laughs> it's gonna happen every turn. Uh, so yeah, a, a little unbalanced towards certain masters, I think they changed it. But, yeah. so she's... Right, that one's not really gonna help Masaki. Uh, leave your mark. Well, I mean, like, Again, if, well, well, I mean, heavy scheming, so... Misaki, let's say a situation, she clears off an area. She goes up, she charges, she, can't, like, let's say this guy had two models right there. Actually, it happened to me during a tournament. He had a witchling, two witchling stalkers, and a witchling handler. I went in, I thundered, I wiped all three of them, and then I just, I was like, oh! oh right, right, you go after the handler, and yeah. you thunder into the stalkers. Yeah, and then I, I, I mean, they blew up, I took a few damage, but it wasn't a big deal, and then I just... After that point, I just leave your mark. I leave lift your mark, and then I, then I <laughs> so, so, so she was mostly running around scheming yeah. after. Because at that point, the like the eight the, it points. Yeah, you win by victory yeah. points. Not it's it wasn't the most glamorous Masaki victory, but it was still a victory. Yeah, um, that's another one where leave your mark because like uh, and and that's one thing is we we talk about her killing capability, but Misaki can be a fantastic scheme runner. She's yeah. so mobile. She, and she can go... Uh, she, she can't be pinned down. Yeah, I mean... Well, actually, her charge... She only ignores engagement when charging, though, right? Yes. Yeah. But, she but of can't course, she can them. always kill the thing that's engaged. You can charge your own models. one random thing. You can charge your own models. Yes, you do have to take two attacks, but you yeah. can... Well, no, there's times where during the tournament that happened to me where I was like, I need to drop a ski marker at this point. So I, what I did was I charged Sensei Yu... I cheated a few cards to ensure that he survived, and then I started setting up scheme markers. Yeah. In the, like, I was on the other side of the board, and that's a really nice thing. She can get a 10-inch charge to get to those key points. Like, or, that's the nice thing about her, how she can ping-pong off of models. 
you know, she can move 20 inches off the, uh, uh, if she has 4 AP. Yeah, she can she move, gets that extra AP. She can move 20 inches on the board. Okay. Which is phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which, so she can do leave your mark, but it's more situational. Uh, show of force. Since she's a master, she can't qualify for it. But then, as we were discussing with her crew, yes, you she, build the crew to support. She does have a few key pieces that are good at it. Yamaziko, so, Sensei. If you, I mean, and, and well, the other thing is, you your enemy will often have one or two models that have several upgrades. Yeah. And Misaki is good at targeting those. Yeah, and removing them. And because you're forced to deal with Misaki. A lot of times your opponent is off balance and they can't deal with Sensei Yu and Yamaziko. Yeah. So those are your four upgrade, three to four upgrades on point, yeah. while you're pushing their upgrades off point. Yes. Yeah. So, yep, she can... Show four, she can do very well. Um, convict labor... <laughs> so uh, another one where you like... This is an op always an option for everybody, yeah. but yeah, convict labor. And like, I remember the, the, the old line in the sand... You used to take that I a lot because... I loved it. It was one of my... It was, people yeah. always thought I was crazy for taking it, but it was... But the effigy... Between the effigy and one, yet alone two, Ten Thunder Brothers, that was yeah. just so broken. Yeah. That four, 14 points, I believe, you came out to, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 14, 14 points, points. points, you're basically ensured that you have lined the sand. Um, yeah. So, the, well, well, we explain it, because uh, there are some tournaments that still use the, the core... Right. So there are plenty of times you'll, you might see those. It is it is a fourteen soul stone combo? So you run the effigy, two ten thunder brothers, or a ten thunder and another minion. And another minion. Yeah, it's. I Just, mean, I brought two ten thunder brothers because it was the balls I had at the time. Yeah. Um, what you do is you the effigy has a, I believe it's a one tactical. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a it's one, a one action. action. What you do is it's a you need a ten though, so you need a pretty high card to pull yeah, it off. You need um, one or two high cards. Yeah. To make it really shine. So the target model, uh, at the end of its activation, so it gives out a condition. Condition. You and remove this condition to drop a ski mark. So in a tournament environment, it was phenomenal because. Oh yes, you could you could on turn one or two. Yes. As early as one, put your markers for line and sand. So, yeah. Effigy, I, I, and perfectly ideal situation. You've got your two Tin Thunder Brothers in the yeah. effigy. Yes. Effigy goes, remember the mission, remember the mission. Yes. On both of them. Yes. Then they they walk for they move forward. Actually, so a perfect scenario is they get on the center of the line with one AP. Yes. They drop a scheme marker next to them, then remember the mission drops a second scheme marker next to mm -hmm. them. Or even better. So now you've got two that are on the line. Mm -hmm. or, or or yeah. And now you do that twice. Mm -hmm. Now you've got all four. You need four ski markers means you have line in the sand. Yep. Um, on turn one or two, whatever. Yes. I mean, it can still, you can still and do a lot of cool stuff, like with detonate the charges and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. And well, the other is they have, if you do it right, they have overlapping auras. Mm -hmm. So if your enemy kills one, you still have all four markers protected by one. their auras. Yep. Because you have two of them, two Ten Thunder Brothers, mm -hmm. preventing removal. And the three inch place, which lets them move around. If they they get to go defensive on a trigger, yeah. they get plus, they, they're defense seven if they have defensive. Yeah. So that could be a real headache. Yeah. Casey <laughs> okay, <so> has Casey. <laughs> no, that's actually the big reason. If you look at convict labor, mm -hmm. the markers can't be close to each other. Yeah. That's to prevent things like that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, so it becomes yeah. a lot more... I'll admit it was, a re it was a little bit too strong of a combo yeah. in tournament. And not play. to mention that whole tournament thing, how you could, I get my three points no matter what turn it is, yeah. convict labor, That's what helped, that helped you me. need more turns to go by, you score one each turn. That, that, that helped me, uh, I'll admit that, to getting first place in a lot of my tournament games, that really did help me out, because uh, probably people that watch this so who play tournaments... There are times where the game, like, I mean, you mentioned, Casey, how sometimes your games don't get past turn, th turn three or four, so yeah. that, that, which happens to me as well, so getting yeah, those I've, I've had points. moments where I've spent 10 to 20 minutes discussing terrain, and I'm like, oh, I just move on. Yeah. It's pretty clear this is soft, this is hard, but like, mm -hmm. oh, well, 
can we have this be one and a half inches? One height one and a half. There is no height one and a half. It's one or it's two. <laughs> well, no, um, well, well, no, and that's the thing about us. We're experienced tournament players, and we know like you are on a time limit. Yeah, I mean, but for I mean, those I, that aren't experienced with it, you know, there can. I mean, not to mention, you never know what a person's motivations are. But a person might even know that their list, their choices, are going to be better if you only get to turn three. Yes. And so they might intentionally put some stalling, mm -hmm. you know? Which like, we don't... Certain summoners would love to be able to score turn three at the end of the... There's one. At the end of the game, for each um, minion in your enemy deployment, mm -hmm. you get points. Yeah. Anyway, so... That's... So that's why, like, but that was a really cool combo with Convict Labor. I mean, you can still do it with that Nate the Charges, too. Uh... Is similar, right? Yeah. You can remember the mission, run the model up, get the free marker. But it's, it's not. It's it was better in the old uh, strategy in ski pool. Uh, yeah. Sorry, the old uh, ski pool. Sorry, I got a little bit of cold, so sniffling a little bit. Um, so we've got conflict labor. We've got take prisoner. The Saki's not one for taking prisoners. I mean, you okay, can. Okay, so she's the thing is. If you're going for full points, mm -hmm. there, there's there's almost always a model, though, that you're like, I don't need to kill that. Yeah. Um, and Misaki can get where she needs to go, and you get extra points if there are no friendly models near it. it no models friendly but to it. If your opponent figures out, though, they might pull a lemming and just, like... Oh, yeah, because if your opponent yeah. figures it out and manages to kill their own model... Yeah. That's, but that, that, like, that's that's again, is just is for me. Me personally, as a player, uh, I don't like the idea of giving, if my opponent figures me out, I don't like the idea of giving my opponent, like, oh, well, psh, well I'm just going to just freaking deny you, buddy. You know, that's just that's just me as a player. There's some people yeah. I met that love Take Prisoner that, you know, think... Yeah, and I, I can see that both ways. Because, well, I'm saying, I understand why you might, but at the same time, Misaki's great. Because if you see Misaki mm -hmm. charge in, kill your big old thing mm -hmm. but she then there's the mobile toolkit right next to her so what does she do well she's Masaki she charges away from the mobile toolkit without needing to disengage or kill it mm -hmm. I mean she she's really good at bluffing that because yeah. she can just ignore small things yeah. like like, I, like other, the mobile toolkit's not a huge threat to me right yeah. now there's a lot of people that I would rather that, yeah. kill it and that's why of course you know, so you might not pick Masaki because that's in the pool, mm -hmm. but if you pick Masaki because other things, mm -hmm. and you notice that they have, like, for example, like, a lot of times, you probably wouldn't leave a Rotten Bell alive, because they're just, oh, they're, they're, they're so annoying. Yeah, yeah. And Masaki is card-intensive sometimes, mm -hmm. so they're slowing things and discarding cards, mm -hmm. you don't want that. Yeah. But if they have something you can ignore... Mm -hmm. You know, um, a lot of totems are actually good for that because they're not worth killing. So, the copycat killer. You, you don't want that to get a lot. <laughs> copycat killer is an exception. Um, but the yeah, totems, yeah, you're right. And like some some crews might not even totems, try. scheme runners. Mm -hmm. You know, certain certain supportive henchmen which aren't yeah. a henchman or enforcer. Um, yeah, certain snipe, sn snipers a lot of times oh, might yeah. be good. Except for that. they're katanaka, which is like. Well, Katanaka yeah. will try to slice you up, yeah. and most of them have, the others have some way to push away, but it's still there. Um, so we did, we got to take Prisoner. Uh, Covert Breakthrough. Okay. Uh, that's where you want to get... Covert Breakthrough, that's the one where you have to want, uh, earn one victory point for each scheme marker within six of the enemy points. So. Yeah. Uh, pretty, uh, Masaki might not be like, like we were talking, there's going to be moments where like you kill everything, there's nothing else Masaki to, to go after right now. But again, it's not like, you're not going to pick it for Masaki. Yeah. It's, it might be an additional one that yeah. you can go for. Yeah. Um, then there's Undercover Entourage, which I think could be a good choice. It, it's, 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 it's very iffy. Yeah. Because uh, Masaki, even though she's going, she's going to be in the thick of it a lot. So yeah. she's probably going to take damage, and that's where like bringing the, the lower monks might be pretty nifty to try to bring her health up a little bit more, so she can be, so you can try to score the full points for undercover entourage. Yeah. Um, 
But there's other models you could possibly pick for undercover entourage. You might want to pick a Yamaziko because they're, or even Sensei Yu, for God's sake. Because he can make a four, uh, actually, yeah, he can make a 14 inch beeline for anywhere. So as yeah, long as you're slow, exactly. Advancing. Like if, yeah. if he's just there behind Misaki, yeah. pushing her around, giving her fast, and then all of a sudden on the last turn, he does, oh, I'm out, guys. Boom, boom. Yeah. 14 inches into your deployment oh. zone, and the guy's like, what? Well, and also some interesting things you can do with that with smoke grenades. Mm -hmm. You can make a beeline, discard smoke grenades to put two 50 mil markers in base contact. Uh, so, like, even eliminating shooting from going after him. That requires line yeah. of sight. Yeah, yeah. Help, help bust up that line of sight, being able to shoot. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then the next one, neutralize the leader. Uh, yeah, this has yeah. Misaki written in bright, or in, like, black, uh, a permanent marker. Perfect for her. Yes, uh, that, that's the kind of thing that... Like now, you, again... You, the back you of your mind should go ding, 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 ding when, you're, when right. you see it. Yeah, that's something that, again, if you've got something like, um... Collect the bounty and neutralize leader, is it also in the pool? Oh, yeah. That's where you're like, okay, okay. No. <laughs> Masaki might not take it depending on the enemy leader, probably will. Or but... bluff it. You can bluff it. Right, exactly. Yeah. Uh, catch and release. Oh, yeah. Uh, see, that's that's AP taken away from... Like, versus the other ones where it's like, okay, she might occasionally drop a scheme marker. But catch and the release where you... Uh, need in, in this case, I think she wants to... Masaki wants to kill enough things that she doesn't want to leave stuff alive for catch and release. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, I, again, the big thing that hurts with catch and release is the fact that it is a, you need to have two things yeah. with it. And Misaki's and so aggressive. I mean, not every time, but usually very aggressive and up there. And the rest yeah. of her crew is usually farther behind. Uh, frame for murder. Another, it, 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 I never got in a scheme pool where I had frame for murder and neutralized leader. I'm waiting for the day when I can have both and I can just like scree. Like a like a uh, like a Japanese schoolgirl. Yeah, it. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> um, it's it's. I, I want that. I want that to happen to me in a tournament, and then I can be like, all right, now I'm gonna bring in my favorite. Ma Actually, I do bring my favorite master to most tournaments. He, she. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, fr frame for murder. Um, like you're saying, obviously, good target on Masaki. You. Like most thing, like most of the bigger things you'd throw it on, you just shove her down their throat so they have to deal with it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. In a lot of ways, not my ideal one, simply because you want her to die by turn three on that. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. Something about me. You. You also have to be a. You. You have to. But actually, that. <coughs> the. The really funny thing, is if you can try to gauge your opponent. And possibly throw it on something other than Masaki, with them thinking it's on Masaki. Yeah, would be would be great. Not to mention, it would always suck if you took frame for murder and then you realize your opponent's gonna kill you with something like burning. Well, but but the thing about the nice thing but, about frame for murder though is you have to deal with like if 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 it's a point mm -hmm. is you have to deal with Masaki. It's like very yeah. and You have to deal with it. if you don't, he, she will wipe out your crew. You know, or like or or you might just have to find a way to stunlock her, but. If, you, if you're yeah. denying me these three points, that means I'm killing your most of your crew, which you are not accomplishing it, your skill. And again, it in, depends entirely on what you come yeah. up against. Yeah. Because um, there are things that are going to have enforcers and minions that are able to kill you or finish you off. Mm -hmm. That'll hurt. Yeah. Anything that can delay it till after turn three will hurt. Mm -hmm. Whether it be like... Uh, again, she does have willpower seven, but if her performer manages to lure her, and or you can paralyze her, paralyze. Yeah, you manage to paralyze, kill with burning, kill with poison. Mm -hmm. But it is still something that, and again, that's you analyze your enemy's crew mm -hmm. after you picked yours. Yeah. So again, if you see that they are taking heavy Pandora, burning, or well, they're taking. Um, I don't know about Pandora. The per paralysis with the... Uh, oh, that's right. She can hand out I paralysis had that like to me once. Um, right, Pandora can stun lock you. Uh, Kyrie's will make it so you that you die via burning. Which would... Which no points would be... Yeah. Right. Um, but you see those and you're like, Alright, I'm not going to frame for murder, at least not on Masaki. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's where you bluff it, where your opponent's like <coughs> spending all of these action points making sure that Masaki is stun locked, making sure that Masaki is killed with burning, not that. And then in the end, it's them killing your effigy. Mm -hmm. that, ah! that it's like, yeah, yeah. No more dropping ski markers. Frame for murder, three points. What? <laughs> like, I mean, it's I kind of, uh, yeah. But again, you might just not take it. Well, yeah, I know for sure, Casey, it's a little, the, the frame for the, the going out of the way of frame for murder is more of like kind of your play style, too. I go more of the obvious. <laughs> uh, yeah, and well, that's, you just have to think about your opponent. Yeah. Like, yeah. what are they going to do and how can you, but yeah, a lot of times you just got to do it. Yeah. Um, uh, detonate the charges, sensei like, you, just makes right. detonate charges a piece of cake. I mean, it's not Masaki's deal, but you bring your second, but probably one of your, your best henchmen for it, yeah. so. Uh, yeah, you, and yes. this is one where you detonate, might want to bring... Detonate charges, set up, they're basically the same thing. Yeah. Even search the ruins to some degree. Yeah. They're all placing scheme markers and yes. getting them yeah. far enough up that they can score. Uh, mark for death. There's another one where I I wish I, it's it's it. You have to have a second model to mark because Masaki's not gonna want to mark stuff. She's gonna want. Um. Okay. I I disagree a little mm -hmm. in that. What well, Masaki? I mean, now, okay. This might not be the best. The problem is this might not be the best use entirely for Masaki. But what Masaki can do is mark once she's way up there, mm -hmm. she marks something she can kill with two to three AP. Yeah. Right, and then she makes sure that that's dead. Which actually, the zero, the zero percento might be. Um, actually, in theory, what you can do yeah. is stock with one zero percento, hopefully kill, stock again, and then. Uh, 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 so mm -hmm. so first one, you use your zero AP, right. or you use one AP to mark. Mark or oh, mark not stock. Yeah. Sorry, mark. sorry, actually, that's just okay. So one AP to mark. Yeah. Use your zero to kill. Okay. Then use your second AP to mark again, a different model, and then use your percento again to kill. Okay. So you can do that with just her base three AP. You have to make sure to get spheres, and you have to hit something under six HP, or assassinate yeah. it. But that's something she could, in theory... Or, I mean, even just the fact that... Um, so... Marked condition may not be removed or ended, even if she doesn't completely kill the stuff. Mm -hmm. The fact that she's in the middle, she's marked a bunch. Yeah, heck, she put could... it on some wounds. Your opponent now is like, ah, that's where actually the, maybe the defense of Masaki would be pretty good. You go in there, yeah, you mark, mark, mark two malls. Mm -hmm. And the big thing is, yeah, you'd have to make sure you have a crew that can support mm -hmm. the defensive version. Yeah, um, but yes, exactly, marked for death. It has some options. Again, I think it's one of those marked for death is probably better with somebody like Yanlo, yeah. who it's like, you, I'm going to put you in position yeah. to and, um, do... With two punk zombies? Okay, now I'm something... Not, not. But, but if it, as long as the other ones support Misaki, yeah. she can make marked for death work as well. Public demonstration. Um, Th that's one of those, yeah. She, she doesn't have anything that especially makes it good. Yeah. Um, um, I think, yeah, for something like public demonstration... You need a master that can support your models. Yeah. Because, like, Colette and um, McCabe, people yeah. like those, they, they can, they public, can make yeah. public demonstration work because, yeah. or even, even Yanlo, I'm going to pull you over and put you into this mob of three minions. Yes. Now you've scored me points. Yeah. Um, but, right, Misaki, she does not have the kind of support needed to really make that work. You have to mark them all. You have to name them all. Or does it have to you, be you all? Uh, public demonstration. You name three of your own minions. Oh. So it's your minions you select. So you could select three hounds, two punk zombies, and an Ashigaru. Whatever. Now summoned doesn't work for this because it has to be selected before. So two punk zombies and and a... then it's um, it has to be a master henchman or enforcer. So basically, anything that's not a minion or a peon on their side, mm -hmm. when you when you declare this, mm -hmm. each of your chosen within four of it. Yes. So like we like we're saying, that's why Yanlo. Here's my three that I picked. I throw your guy over there. Yeah. Any of your masters, horde henchmen, or enforcers, mm -hmm. which yeah. 
And depending again, on the crew. Depending on the crew. Again, look at the enemy crew. Again, Misaki, kind of yeah. iffy. Just she's kind of heavy on henchmen and enforcers. That's, that's so. where like you probably wouldn't take Misaki in that one. Or, or I no, mean, it might not be one of your main picks in the pool. As you'd have to make sure you had other picks for Misaki. Yeah. Yes. Um, inspection. Inspection. That's an interesting yeah. one. Inspection's always interesting because it's so easy to disrupt. Mm -hmm. Although, again, Misaki's ability to just kind of, I'm going to clear this side and I'm going to have one one guy follow behind me and, t and yeah. do inspection. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, she could make, again, she can make that work. Yeah. Well, yeah, because the Misaki will clear an area out for you and just like, okay, um, Mr. Mr. Ten Thunder Brother, drop a ski marker right there. Right. And it can be very difficult for your opponent to It creates like an area that. of denial with her and just like, okay, I'm going to be getting the scheme point right now. Or maybe you had some other one where you like, okay, I had to I had to kill your big beater guy. Or yeah. what was it? Murder protege. Let's call something else. Right? Um, a quick murder. That's quick murder. number 12, the next oh. one. Oh, a yeah. quick murder, we'll and that's... Uh, the enemy model okay. with the highest soul stone. Uh, and you may choose if they are tied. Yeah, so so pretty much it's very so like for, for murder. Uh, so yeah, you want to kill him. Like the, I killed you. You want to kill him, and ideally before turn three. Yeah. And so Masaki is literally just so like, kill okay. your most expensive model. Yeah. It's like okay. Oh, you 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 Nikima. Oh, she's going ahead. Like I mean, I, unless you're playing super 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 defensively with your Nikima, which is if you're playing defensive with the Nikima, I am very. Uh, well, it's one of those mo moments it depends on everything else. Yeah, yeah. Because if I might be holding it back simply to make it harder for that charge. I know, yeah. Yeah. But but it's it's an Akima that's but, not going after my my other models. Yes, yeah, you're still forcing well, your We're playing what, what's a, the, the mutual assured destruction. Uh, yes, <laughs> so, man. Yeah, uh, at that point. But then I think Yes, Mas Masaki usually wins at mad. Yeah. Um and that's the thing where you, you know you clear, let's say you killed the, the the Nikima. Now you have inspection, and then you can just like, all right, I'm I I've got my points for a quick murder. Yeah. Now I, all I have left is inspection. Come to me, like I. Uh, and then you spend your rest of your crew just trying to deny that. Yep. Now here's here's the interesting one that don't see as often. Occupy their turf. Mm -hmm. So at the end of any turn, okay. At the end of any turn, you reveal. So you reveal this. And you need to have minions on their half of the board, mm -hmm. not within 10 inches of the center line. So basically deep in their territory, yeah. deep on their side. And so then you score a victory point for each minion. So not really a Masaki thing. Mm, I mean, it's... It, 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 I mean, she she doesn't... If it's super late game, uh, it won't be... It won't, yeah, you're right. right. You'd, you'd basically be relying on Sensei Yu switching from wind-bursting Masaki to wind-bursting your minions. Mm. And sure, Misaki could clear out an area like we talk about, but it's not her strong suit to have her minions running around on your side. Yeah. Now, and there we go. Your new, your new master, um, Asami. That's where Asami would be like. Let me just throw a bunch of summons on yeah. your half of the board. Let me let me let me put three. Uh, what are they called? The, the monkeys. Uh, <laughs> yokai. Yep. So in three yokai. All right, they have flicker one. Or whatever combination of yokai and uh, well, but the yokai birds. start with flicker two. They're good because they start with two. But yeah. you start by maybe you've got that uh, high face card, so you start with a jerry gumo, remove a corpse marker, mm -hmm. then you throw a couple yokai. Yeah. Whatever. <coughs> but exactly, you occupy their turf. Um, so let's go into the old schemes real quick, ah. and then what we. The ones that the equate to. So we've we've hit. Yeah. So. Line of the sand. We talked about line of the sands. Um, what are some other ones? I'm trying to. All right. Um, breakthrough. So yeah, breakthrough. That's the scheme. The one we. That's the scheme markers on an enemy deployment. So again, same thing as before. It's not like a top pick for Masaki, but yeah. always doable. Uh, assassinate. Or, okay. Assassinate's another. Okay. Common, like, yeah, auto take from Misaki. Uh, bodyguard? Um, old school bodyguard? That's a tough so, one. Um, mm, yeah, bodyguard, so. Because of the whole so A non leader henchman. 
and it's got the it's got the problem it always had where you know you have to get to turn four pretty deep in the game before you start scoring. Um, I think Masaki's good at ensuring something doesn't get chewed up if she needs to. Mm -hmm. like, Protecting, yeah. You know, she charges out, she goes after something. Mm -hmm. They're like, ah, oh, shit, Sensei Yu's giving fast. They send something at Sensei Yu. She, she doubled back and is like, charges right out of combat to kill whatever went after Sensei Yu. Mm -hmm. um, now, let's see, the other one that's over here, Protect Territory. Yeah. So, Protect Territory, um, that's the usual, like, so you don't, I think that's a little better than Breakthrough for her, simply because it relies not on getting so deep into the enemy side. Yeah. So she can keep the enemy from getting to you while yeah. your stuff just protects territory. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that probably the big reason that it was kind of switched up, because it was a little boring to just sit on your side of the board. Yeah. Uh, so we've got... Assassinate with the bodyguard. Uh, cursed object. Yeah, assassinate. Ooh, that's... Yeah, again, she's not great at the things that interact with enemies. Yeah. She relies so heavily on... I want to I wa I wanna kill your crew. stuff. She'd ra yeah, there, there are other masters that'll do it better. Yeah. So much better. Uh, outflank. Um, yeah, outflank, that's one. That that's the one that, that nobody ever took. Uh, that's when you have to have, like, two, two models in the corner. Or, yeah, um... One, if it has... So this is at the end of the game. Yeah. You have to have a non-peon on the center line within three of the point where the center line meets the table. Yeah. And then you have earned an additional if it's on the center line on the other side and if it's revealed. So you have... It's like um, the inspection, mm -hmm. except it's scored at the end of the game. Well, so inspection, it's a little more obvious because on turn two, they're like... Boom, here's my first point. Yeah. And they immediately can respond. Here, like, it's kind of cool because you could suddenly sneak it in and go, look, I got three points for out. Well, see, well, the, or actually, you have to reveal it to get all three. Yeah. And that's what well, makes it The rough. interesting thing about Outflight, though, uh, is in, if you're you playing Masaki and you're going to try to clear the board, and you you have, and like, depending on the crew, depending if you're playing against a crew that you, you feel comfortable that you can clear the board without taking too many losses in return. Yeah, Alphalink might be a pretty good choice because then I I'm gonna put two I, my two ten thunder brothers. They're gonna hang back or my effigy and whatnot. They're gonna drop their ski markers they need to, and then at, near the end of the game, they're gonna move into these corners. Yeah, I mean it's it's but still Alphalink is, is is a very difficult scheme to pull off. Uh, in, in, it's 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 like it's, it's so easy. It just to depends. Know. Yeah. Well, the thing for me is it. This is one of those weird moments where I don't always agree with the play to 10. Mm -hmm. Because play to 10 is probably the reason that a lot of people don't like outflank. You have to reveal outflank to get 10 points. Mm -hmm. Which means that your opponent sees from the very beginning that you have outflank. Yes. And outflank is best when it's not revealed. Yeah. And that's one of those moments that it's kind of a two double edged well, sword that way. Well, if you see, the thing about it is if you're playing to 10, though, but then. I, I I agree with you on the the whole playing the tennis a little bit of a little, well, it's, little bit it's, of it's too it's much a, of a focused thought. Well, it's it's one of those. It's a good to keep in mind, but there are times it might. That's when I think that's when you uh -huh. like some because there's gonna be times where people forego the interference game where you're trying to stop your opponent from scoring mm -hmm. those games. And like when you think of, when you like your your mindset of trying to play for ten out flank, but there might be times where you want to play without flank. Yeah, and well, that's the other. If you're playing in this kind. Outflank is probably best for sort of the mind game area if you think you can play that because, think about it, if a lot of people will expect you to reveal something like Outflank. So if you take it unrevealed, they might expect that unrevealed scheme to be something like Bodyguard that can't be revealed for extra points. Mm -hmm. And so when you don't score Bodyguard and then at the end of the game you suddenly get two points for evidence. Outflank, yeah, like, yeah. it could throw... A wrench in it. Yeah. Or not uh, playing evidence, sorry, playing explosive. Yeah. So. Playing evidence. Uh, now, I just want to say on that play to 10, like, that is normally a good mindset. Yeah. The only thing I would say is don't let it make uh, your thinking too I'm rigid. I'm more of an advanced player. But, alright. Yeah. So. Uh, play evidence. Plant evidence, a basic. Just, yeah, very basic. And so like, it's enemy half and touching a. Just. 
you, terrain. At that point, you're hoping Misaki's clear up. I mean, it's balls. basically like breakthrough, but a little easier to pull off sometimes yeah. since it's not deployment it's, it zone. It has to be a terrain piece. Now, that's one thing that recently, like, it's one of those moments that you can kind of forget. At when you're scoring at the end of the game, you your uh, scheme markers don't count for multiple, so. You have to be careful trying to combine things like plant evidence and breakthrough. Or protect territory, yeah. Well, plant, protect, oh yeah, protect territory would be. Yeah. Um, because you have to still have <coughs> a total of about six markers to make it work. Yeah. Um, um, so, entourage. Entourage. Good. Yeah, master or henchman, and you're trying to get them on the enemy, it, basically into the enemy deployment zone. It's like one of the others... And the cover on Tarash. It, yeah, they, they've switched a few things about it around. Yeah. Um, same thing. Masaki. Okay, Masaki did? Right. Uh, master or henchman. So, I mean... The, my, uh, I think that's what it was. Oh, was it just... It did, I think it, undercover is no longer master, maybe? No, undercover on Tarash is master. It is. Okay. Yeah. What did they change exactly? They copied... They copied... Uh, uh, they brought in bodyguard. They combined bodyguard and... Oh, entourage. got it. They... Uh, Right. In Entourage, you don't... It doesn't care about your wounds. So that's... Actually, that might be the one for Masaki. I mean, just like if you... If you right. As long as Masaki... You, you, just, you just have to play her a little bit more defensively uh, at that point. And just make sure to keep her alive. So don't overcommit her. Yeah, and that's another. You have to reveal it to get full points. Mm -hmm. You get one for being on their half. Or, instead of one, you get two for being in their deployment. Mm -hmm. And you get one for having revealed it and scored yeah. points off it. Oh. Uh, Pretty good. I do miss that one though, because it's a, the, uh, I, I've been burned by undercover on charge a few times. Um, okay. Vendetta. Vendetta. So, Masaki doesn't qualify. Yes. But are there any like? W would you uh, would you take a certain model and if you saw Vendetta and were making Masaki? Tanaka sniper. <laughs> like yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, again, you'd probably look at the terrain of the table, mm -hmm. and you're like, a Katanaka sniper would be good here, and there's Vendetta. Hell yeah, I'll take. Pink. So, <laughs> most of those snipers, they cost uh, six for the outcast um, trapper. Seven for the And Thunders. seven for the Katanaka sniper. Mm -hmm. I think it's six for Nino. I don't... He's six or seven. Yeah. Um, it's, I want to say, eight points... Nine with the Merc tax, so eight points plus for Hans. Mm. And all of those, they've got great range, so they can very much ensure they get that first yeah. attack against the enemy. And then from there... It's like during our games, like, Oh, hey Casey, get what I picked. Fedetas. And then Casey to Steve. Guess what I picked. Fedetta. Yeah. <laughs> um, then plant explosives. Same thing as detonate the charges. Exactly the same. Uh, well, it's a little different just because detonate is a little more restrictive. That was it. Um, detonate, you have to have at least two scheme markers to score three oh, points. Oh, this one was just one. You're right. This, You're it right. could be a single scheme marker. Well, with, I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm used to Sensei you right. I'm assuming I'm going to have two or three scheme markers. Right. And uh, I mean, that's usually the case. They just didn't want to make it so that yeah. it was too easy. So yeah, know. same thing. Sensei you makes that pretty um, easy. Make enough. them suffer. Uh, another Misaki killing minions. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's just... Uh, uh, deliver the message. And, and the, the best thing about Make Them Suffer with Masaki mm -hmm. is the fact that a lot of times people will be like, oh, well, maybe I'll take a fairly elite list and I'll just have the Malfo child and they'll be in my back line being my mm -hmm. one that they can't. Masaki's just like, I'm just going to beeline for that guy and kill it for three points. Yeah. You know, over yeah. the course of three turns, I'll get three points. And I'm just going to try to play super, super, super defensively. I mean, with them, like, if well, you're... Well, no, I mean, all you have to do is be hyper-aggressive for that one model, yeah. and then double back and do whatever you need to do with Masaki. Yeah. Like... Hide behind buildings. <laughs> yeah, and so... Yeah. And, and... Oh, my God. So okay. if they try that, I have... I only have one thing, and it's back here safe. Mm -hmm. Not well, from Masaki most of the time. Unless we're four-inch push you with the, 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 the... Like, okay, I oh, can't right. She I charges move, one I just, thing. I move into my minimum distance to attack you. Okay, then now I'm six inches away from the mall. I just killed. Him. Yeah. yeah. And then you, like you, you want to chase after me? All right, I'm just gonna ping pong off somebody and just run yeah. across the board. And so make them suffer is something she can definitely deliver. The message is probably not a Masaki. It's 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 actually the other way. It's so yeah. easy to deliver oh, against yeah. Masaki. Yeah. No, if you see Masaki on the board, like if you're an opponent and you see me with Masaki and deliver the message in the pool, 
All right, man. You can have those three points. Yeah, it's Take probably it, going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so, but yeah, her crew in particular isn't especially mm -hmm. great. So, uh, take prisoner. Um, another one that you know, like it's very similar to the other. Uh, I think that one has stayed the same. Take is it, prisoner. Is it literally called take prisoner. Yeah, it's literally take prisoner. Only now you get it on doubles instead of on a nine. Yeah. Um, um, that's the big change. So spring, yeah, it's, spring Trap, mm -hmm. that's another one with ski markers. Yep, that's the old version. Uh, murder Protege? That's uh, like the quick murder. Yeah, quick murder. So same thing. No, they're good in this purple from the stocky. Highest Soul Stone. Just kill the sacrifice before the end. Ski. Oh, only this one, instead of getting it before turn three, this one, if you reveal it, you get extra points. Okay. So... Frame for murder, uh, same, same as it's ever been. Uh, power ritual. That's that's the weird one. It um, you know what? Work. You know what? <laughs> power ritual is one of those that I it almost doesn't depend on the master as much as the deployment type. Yeah. If it's corner or flank deployment, mm -hmm. power ritual is so much better to pull off. Yeah. Um, because so you have to get them in corners, mm -hmm. but only one of the corners can be in your deployment zone. So if you have standard or close deployment, you you have to get two markers on the enemy two corners. Yeah. And it can be very difficult. Um, so power yeah, power ritual is one of those that to me it depends more on deployment than master. Oh, if if it if it's Because uh, like imagine Masaki playing on corner deployment mm -hmm. and power ritual. Well, her minions are usually decent enough at placing scheme markers that she can do go do her thing while they get power ritual, you know? That's another one, like you said, like you're, if you build your crew to comp accomplish this. Right, and it's so easy to accomplish on corners that it's worth looking at. Versus... Because corners literally just like... I, okay, I would bing, never bing. consider it on standard deployment. It's just not worth it. I mean... Yeah, that's that's why they... I think that's what replaced... Um, it, public demonstration replaced power ritual. Um, I kind of... Oh, that's right, because the other one has a version. Well, more or less. Yeah. And the the other thing is, I like power ritual. I do too. So I, much. It's gonna be really. Uh, it's really cool, but it's so hard to. Like the, the, stuff. I think like the idea that they oh power ritual that seems something really cool. That's part of uh, it. Not to mention, you know, you're just getting a few ski markers. That doesn't. It's not a whole lot. Mm -hmm. but, but then it's pretty easy to deny, and you have to do a lot of work. Yep. To get into your opponents on on standard, I, so I think on the Saki crew would have a lot a lot of difficulty pulling even with if you build the crew appropriately. Yeah, if it's on standard deployment, because you need to get both. Yeah, 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 yeah. If there's certain crews that would far yeah. that'd be far better. McKay would be a better choice for this. Then yeah, because um, then you have so many activations that you can do it. Uh, I think so. We hit all the strategies and schemes for both the yeah. core. So so that gives you both an idea how to handle it if. Masaki's maybe your only master, or your starting master. Yeah. Gives you a lot of ideas on how you would go about scoring. Because that's, I think, one of the big issues with Masaki is if you're ever playing her with stuff that doesn't score by killing. Yeah. She, you know, you don't want her to be a glorified scheme runner. Yeah. You want her to do her main job. Yeah. And. I mean, you can't you can accomplish. And then, you know, we said, like, when you, if you have a bigger pool. Mm -hmm. There are definitely some times that, like, Masaki can do things better than anyone else when it comes to killing, especially killing in certain ways. Yes. Like, being able to focus out and, like, pick minions, no matter where they are on the board, mm -hmm. for stuff like Make Them Suffer. Yeah. Or even, actually, that's a funny thing, even Hunting Party, mm -hmm. she can't score for killing them, but she can score by wiping, removing, them out. removing all of them. Yeah. Because that doesn't check who killed them, it just checks that they're all dead. Yeah. So it's one of those weird moments that she could of course that's again, you'd say, This looks like some this looks like a pool Masaki can achieve. Mm -hmm. Then you look at your enemy crew and you're like, they only have one minion. Looks like I am taking hunting party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like There's you, my three you, points. <laughs> maybe you thought you weren't, but it turns out maybe you are. <laughs> and um, Again, to deliver the message is out of gaining grounds, but it's probably the only one in there that, to me, is a huge deterrent to playing Masaki. Yeah. Um, There's not. I, I think. Well, the, the only other one is Frame for Murder a little bit because 
Masai, there's well, a good chance the, the interesting Masaki thing about, kill. about the gaining grounds is that there's not... If you look at all the core... Because if you look at the initial core uh, strategies, they're, one of the major ones that, you, that came up was assassination, which was mm. a pro. In the current one, they're... In the core, you know, the yeah, suits. The, the suits. There aren't that many really kill-oriented uh, strategies and schemes. Or, so there are schemes. Schemes, yeah. So it's show of force. Yes. Hunting party. So hunting party is the main killy one. Yeah. Leave your mark and exhaust their forces. So yeah. the only one with killing mm -hmm. is hunting party, and that's and, not masters. And all the, okay. all the other ones are numbered. So that's why I was telling you, like, oh, I yeah. want to get Frame from Murder, or I want to get, like, you know, to get that ideal scheme pool from Asaki, which is very rare because they're both um, numbered. Yeah. A lot of the ones she likes are numbered. So that's what, so it's not... Let alone if you flip doubles or something. Yeah. What is doubles? I think that's still... Uh, so that's the take prisoner, which, yeah. again, you said... Yeah, I, I, I can see what you mean, that... Yeah. So, like, that's the thing, that's a major difference between, like, if we're, we're talking tournament play versus just playing with the core, yeah. um, the, the original strategy. It, it def and that's the weirdest thing, you look and it is. Just change, just the fact that they changed which ones are on suits and which ones are numbers made which a huge shift. Less, less likely, like, Masters yeah, like you said, Assassinate used to be one, about one in four, no. Closer to two, two and four. Two and four. You would get assassinate. Exactly. Where I would be playing Masaki a lot more because assassinate would be in the pool more often. Yeah. Um, but not not saying it's like Masaki is not completely unplayable. It's just you have to really rethink and like if you can, That's... you have to build. I think there's a lot more emphasis on your building your crew appropriately to support Masaki. Sure, Masaki will probably get that assassinate or that. It, it comes up to about one in four mm -hmm. at Assassinate. By the time, uh, I don't, it's, I can't do the math in my head right now, but it's, it's less than half more than a quarter. Yeah. Um, but so I think that's just something to consider. Um, so now that we've finished, we've talked about our structure schemes, what are some things you need to, what, let's say you're playing against the Masaki player. Mm. Uh, Casey, you're probably better at this. Well, actually, I well, can point out some of the weaknesses. Okay, so, so if you're Masaki, playing against Masaki... So, so he, here's the thing. If you're expecting Masaki, yeah. taking something that can get around misdirection mm -hmm. is, is huge. However, a lot of times, it's not that easy to predict unless it's somebody that you know what they play. Casey knows me very well. Well, actually, well, I, that's, I, that's, I, see, I play the full faction. So. Yeah, you play enough Masters... Um, so, like, for example, if I knew Masaki was coming, mm -hmm. um, for me, Joss is a pretty good pick. Yeah. Um, because... And Joss is pretty he, standard. He can ignore it. defensive triggers. Mm -hmm. So, the big thing is, I would save him for till she was softened up. Yeah. Um, then, throw him in. Yes. She, he can ignore misdirection. So, he's a good second. Yes. Like, um... In a lot of ways, I think Ramos could give her some trouble, although... Just the armor. Yes, the fact that there's a lot of armor in his list, and that if you ever don't kill anything, he can repair. Yeah. Um, the fact that you blow up spiders so readily means there's a good chance I'm going to form a lot of swarms instead of mm -hmm. individuals. Also, I mean, you, you, you also might want to put a still... the assassinate trigger to try to force Ramos to ditch spiders. Yeah. But that's just... But a... Armor... I'm trying to think, like... Now, let's say, assuming you're a lot less ready than that, you weren't able to take something mm -hmm. um, specifically to counter her, a lot of it is just making sure that she can't get to something you really need or making sure that whatever she gets is mm -hmm. going to be the last thing she gets. Yes. Like, um, I'm going to give you Langston, but you're going to lose Masaki as a result. Right. That's... Um, I've had similar exchanges against the, I'm trying to think, <sighs> yeah, it, it can be tough. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is to focus on your points. Yes. Um, do what you can to, like, there are times that you might shove something into Masaki's face just to block line of sight, because that's her biggest weakness. Yeah. Um, 
get a big Do, height three model that's that you don't. One, one, one of the few times that I think the rail golem actually isn't a bad choice. Um, melee five versus defense six, positive flips, big ass base to just get in her way. Yeah. Um, just shove them in there, armor two, ten wounds. Mm -hmm. It's going to take a dedicated effort to kill him, which means she's going to have oh, to yeah, dance yeah. around him and charge out, mm -hmm. and it's going to use up AP. The key is to try and waste her AP. The other is if you can see the opportunity to chop down Sensei Yu, he adds to her mobility and threat so much. Mm -hmm. uh, similar, similar with if they bring the Emissary instead, Mm -hmm. The emissary essentially does almost the same thing. Except he gives her extra he, AP. He, yeah, yeah, but he can't give her fast though. It's well, it's it's better than fast because it stacks with fast. Yeah. Um, however, he gives it after the fact. She has to kill something to get the AP. Yeah. So she doesn't have it to begin. Well, with. I thought about doing uh, since you and the emissary. It's just too many points to be worth. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're spending 22 points, or sorry, 21 points to, to give her an extra attack, which I was like, but I mean, the emissary is phenomenal. He's good on his own, too, yeah. so it's like, um, um, the big thing, yeah, I'd say do your best to focus on her support pieces. Yes. If you can force Misaki to defend her, the rest of her force instead of going after you, mm -hmm. that's also a good thing. Yeah. Basically, try to if you can, control where she puts her AP. Mm -hmm. um, anybody who can hand out paralyzed or conditions... Well, okay. Yeah. Targeting willpower will get around um, misdirection, but it she targets the better stat. Yeah, her willpower 7. Um, but still, I mean, like, well, see, like, we were discussing Casey, or we were discussing mm -hmm. earlier, having defense 7 or having willpower 7 yeah. sure gives you that power to cheat and, like, stop things. But when it comes to straight flipping, like, well, like, power six versus seven isn't as big of a deal. Well, and that's that thing. Willpower seven against Pandora with her casting seven, or uh, Marcus with casting seven. You know, it's not a whole lot of a defense compared to uh, being able to misdirect on a defense six. You know, that's yeah. a much bigger deal. Yeah. So you know, Marcus. Marcus can make her, can use his, uh, prey. Yeah. Uh, law of meat to put prey on her. Yeah. That would hurt a lot. Yeah. So that's there, a, that's a that's there a are definitely question. certain masters that can shut her down better than others. Mm -hmm. Um, but really that's the, that's the thing that's such a headache is you're definitely most of the time looking at master level stuff to deal with her. Yes. Um, the only other thing I can think of is... Bells being able to hand out slow so readily, yeah. But even then, on a ma on a master slow doesn't hurt as much to begin with. Yeah. She can still, even if she doesn't have fast, and you give her slow, she can still charge. Yeah. And that is big for her. Yeah. So sure, you cut down an attack, but mm -hmm. you don't shut her down. Well, Masaki, like you, you like as you mentioned, if you you it's you, tough. you you feed you feed Masaki a model. And yeah. you just ensure, like you said, that's the yeah. last model I'm going to feed you. Um, well, and, that's, and also, she, yeah, Masaki herself, right. as a she is, she is literally, I think, the embodiment of a glass cannon. I mean, you can uh, throw her, and she will hit like she will hit like a truck. Not, not, not quite. I, I wouldn't quite say glass cannon because she can be surprisingly tough to finish off. Yeah, yeah. But. She is. She's. She is not super. She will not sustain an assault. Yes, uh, especially the right things or the right situation. Like your Nikima. A lot of times, more... that's the other thing. Is you might very, spreading your forces out. Yes. So that when she hits something, she kills it, and there's nothing around her to misdirect. That way, when you throw your own thing at her, mm -hmm. they're alone. You think of it like, and very... she can kill, and that. That's the other thing, is the order you throw yeah. can be very important. Also, the one of the disadvantages of if you play if you're playing Masaki, you are spending a lot of points on support pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you're spending a lot of points on you're spending a lot of stones on Masaki, for one. You're spending a lot of stones on Sensei Yu. And you might like if you know she's coming, 
and you play the activation control game, you can make it so that you aren't creating the ideal targets for Masaki. Which so then, okay, you can, then the, the Masaki player is going to probably play a bit defensive, or not defensive, it's not going to go hog wild turn one. They're going to just go, just nudge up a little bit and prepare for next turn. Yeah. And, and then having the activation control really yeah. does. And that's, again, activation control. Use it to score points. Yes. You know, um, that's, again, look at what what is Masaki vulnerable to. Things like setup, yeah. where Masaki's going to run herself into your face. Yeah. Sure, she's going to kill something, but then you're going to throw stuff in and score th three points on turn one or two because Because you dropped it, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, so... Actually, that, that'd be the funniest thing if first you do setup and then they're like, all right, you got setup, I'm going to kill some more shit, and then you get plant explosives off her and a yeah. few other things. like, Or plant, do you get plant like, explosives because of her. Key, are they removed after safety? Yes. Okay. So you'd remove them for setup. Mm -hmm. then, you'd, then you'd have to place more of them, but potentially getting you Oh, depending explosives. on certain masters, man. Interact actions? Not a big deal. Uh, yeah. Oh. And... Especially any masters that throw them out anyway, yeah. not for schemes, like Colette and a few others like some to of the just newer drop masters them anyway. From the, from the, uh... Yes, a lot of the new ones have similar mechanics where they just like to drop lots of scheme markers for no reason. Um, Those are the hardest to predict. And Misaki, yeah, then like, okay, I'm charging into the wall of scheme markers. Well, okay, well, it looks like I'm going to give you points. Yeah. And then and just beat on the, and win on the scheme game. Um... I think we've hit all the key points with Masaki's weaknesses. Very soft and squishy. Just play the scheme. You might need to feed her a model and just counter counter attack. Yeah. Um, and just uh, and then spreading out so that she can't get into mm. like five guys and then she can misdirect on a bunch of different targets. Yes, that um, that can be the worst idea to send your weak things first. It may seem like you're weak. You're softening her up with those early attacks, mm -hmm. but mostly you're giving her something to redirect into. Yeah, J and 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 in, and that's actually if you sent a moderate unit mm -hmm. and was able to get her low enough for your beater to send one big attack. That's where oh, I'm gonna misdirect, and you're just like two cards. If you have two cards to stop yeah. the misdirect on your last attack, do it. <laughs> you know, yeah, of if, course. If, 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 if you have a beater and you want to hurt her, yeah, and and if, if you're lucky enough that like you can cheat, you can get it to the point where you can cheat in the severe, cheat in the severe. Put that five or six damage on Masaki. Yeah, because that's the other. She only has bulletproof. No other like. No other defensive. So. Whatever damage you're doing, and that's Solson, the damage Solson's, you're doing. Yeah, Solson's yeah. our only other defensive. But she likes to burn them so fast for her other stuff yeah. that she often will not have that many soul stones. And of course, that's the difference between your all-out Masaki and if you saw one with Cut Purse. Yeah. Because that's like, Cut Purse is that... It's more defensive. Well, not more defensive. Well, not, partially. Not, not as hyper-aggressive. Yeah. Like, recall like training... Dance in there and you're like, oh... I'm gonna survive. I'm gonna weather this attack, and then I'm gonna go in and get a bunch of soul stones. And yeah. yeah. Well, that was Masaki, guys. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure how long this took. <laughs> well, uh, we'll, see, we'll get to see once you've edited it down. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was fun talking about Masaki, and well, yeah. next time we'll probably do an Arcanist Master. Yeah. So I'm try to break up. I'm try to break up some of the battle reports with these discussions. Uh, yeah. Well, add a little extra content for you. Yeah. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Yeah.